Hey guys, I'm Elizabeth. Welcome to my channel, The Bookish Things. Today I am going to be doing the Do I Have That Book Challenge. I've seen a few people do it. Um, I have seen The Story Ain't Over and Haley in Bookland. I loved both of those videos. They were very entertaining. So I thought that I would do it today. So I'm very excited. I love books. I do have a bit of a small collection. I think I have like only 58 books. It's growing. It's in progress. Um, I don't have a job, so I can't get a whole bunch of books at once. But I do. I am very proud of my collection. Um, so let's just get into it. So, the first question is, do you have a book with deckled edges? I feel like I do. I'm not sure if I get a feeling I do, but I'm not positive. I know it would be a hard book, but I just don't really know which one I would probably have to say the closest is probably glass sort it's like barely deckled but there's like the slightest like hint of it I don't know if you can see I don't know it's like the slightest bit deckled I know I have one somewhere, I just don't really know where. Um, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? I'm sure I do. Uh, 100, it was made after the show The 100. Um, it contains, I believe, five people on the cover. Um, I have not read this yet. I am very excited to. I watched the show. I watched the entire thing. It was amazing, so I was very excited to read this. This goes by perspectives of, um, Clark, Bellamy, Glass, and Wells. I don't really know much else about what happens. That's pretty much it. Although now that I see, I think this one's a bit more duckled. If you can see that it is a bit deckled I don't think I think I have anything that's crazy deckled, though um do you have a book based on another fictional story I don't know uh, I don't think I have one that's like directly I mean the closest thing will probably be stars above because it's from the Lunar Chronicle series and this one specifically just has a whole bunch of, like, short stories from each book. Like, giving, like, background information. Like, backstories on various characters from the se from the series. I have not read the other books. I do not know anything about them. Which is why I cannot read this yet. But it, obviously, the Lunar Chronicle series is based off of, like, very, like, different fairy tale stories um do you have a book with a title 10 letters long i do that one is actually also glass sword um it's the second book in the red queen series i read the first book i loved it um i'm currently in the middle of the this one i'm on page 154 it's amazing and it does have 10 letters. Yeah. Um, do you have a, do you have a mass market, wait, do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter? I'm not sure. I feel like I do, but I'm not.
Okay, I do have a book that starts in the same letter. It is Twilight. Um, I have read the first book. I've not read the others. Um, I actually only have the first three. I don't have Breaking Dawn. I have watched all the movies like a million times. I loved all of them. Um, if you don't know anything about Twilight, it's about basically full of this girl named Bella and she start is starting on a new school. She's going to stay with her dad. Um, and she ends up she finds out that one of her best friends is a werewolf. Actually, I'm pretty sure in the second one. Uh, New Moon. She ends up finding out that Jacob Black is a werewolf. Um, there's also this other guy who she starts dating in the first one. Edward Cullen, who she finds out is a vampire and his whole family is vampires. And it's like the most romantic book I have ever seen in my entire life. Or maybe. Um... Do you have a mass market paperback book? I do. I only have one. Um, and that is Carrie. I watched the movie once. It was very interesting. Um, I started to read this. I think I paid like 84 and then I stopped because I just wasn't feeling it. I do really want to read this. Um, because I love Stephen King. Even though I've only read one other book by his. Which is Rose Matter. Um, but I do want to read more books by him. I just haven't gotten around to it, and they're very different from what I'm used to. Um, do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? I have no idea. I don't believe I do, but I could be very wrong. I don't think so. Yeah. As yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I do not have a book by an author with a pen name. Um, do you have a book with a character's name in the title? I do. Uh, Anna and the French Kiss. I read this in four days earlier this year. It was amazing. I loved it. I'm excited to read the other two books, Little and the Boy Next Door and I Love It and The Happily Ever After. I do not own them. Do they do not connect, they do not continue Anna's story. Basically we follow Anna who goes to this boarding school in Paris for her senior year and she makes some friends, and she ends up falling for the very good-looking Etienne Saint Clair. He's British. Um, yeah, it's just a really good story. And there is a lot of drama, if I'm being honest. Yeah, it's kind of insane, but I kind of love it. Okay, the next question is, do you have a book with two maps in it? There's only one book that I know of that has a map in it at all, and that is Happily Ever After is a companion to the Selection series, my favorite series ever. Um, I don't think it has two maps in it. I think there's only, yeah, there's only one map, which is of Aaliyah. I'm pretty sure that's the only one I have that actually has a map. Okay, do you have a book that was turned into a show, a TV show? Uh, I don't think I have one that was turned into one. I have ones that were made about a show. Um, the closest I could think of to be made into one would be It. Because, I mean, it wasn't technically a show. It was considered a mini-series. It was just two movies. Um, but... Like I said, The 100 is after the show, The 100. And I also have this book, uh, Remy Max, which is, it's from Stranger Things. It's Max's perspective during all of season two. Yeah, that's literally the closest I have to that. Uh, do, do you have a book written by an author who is a who is originally famous for something else. I have plenty. Um, I have 
the audition by Maddie Ziegler. She is a dancer, as I'm sure most of you know. Um, I haven't read this yet. I'm excited. I'm pretty sure it's like a middle grade book because the font is like, I don't know, like pretty big. Um, but it basically follows Harper. She's a 12 year old dancer and she's moving and she has to join this new dance company. She's not really fitting in. Um, she ends up making some friends. She meets, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Lily who, um, is also new. She's not fitting in. Um, and like they have, she ends up like making more friends and then like something happens and they're that's like a savage hours competition or something. I'm not entirely sure. And yeah. And I think there's like three more books after this in the series. Um another one would be uh Autumn's Kiss. It's by Bella Thorne it is the second book in a three book series, the Autumn Fall series. I did not read the other two books. I've read this twice. This is really good. Um, also, The Awakening of Sunshine Girl um, by Paige McKenzie. She is, Paige McKenzie was originally a YouTuber who like did, she did a lot of videos involving ghosts and stuff. And so she wrote the series. This is also the second book in a three book series. I also have not read the other two. I've only read this one. Um, next question. Do you have a book with a clock on the cover? I earned the answer to this one. It is no, I do not. Um, I mean, there could be a small one, like, hinted throughout one of the covers, but I'm not going to be looking. Um, do you have a poetry book? I do, but it's in a, it's in a different room. It's, it's very thin. Um, it's a book of Emily Dickinson poems. Um, do you have a, have a book with an award stamp on it? I do. That is Unlimited Blue Dolphins. Um, I think I read a little less than half of this in fourth grade because we had to do it for a project. Um, and then I never finished it, but it does have a Newberry, John Newberry medal on it. I do want to read this, it's just, I'm not, like, it's not something I would typically read, so I'm not as interested in reading it. Um, do you have a book written by an author with the same initials I do? Um, I have already checked that one. I do not, I do have a book with an author who has the same name as I do. Um, that is Just Another Girl by Elizabeth Yulberg. Um, this was really good. Uh, it follows, um, Hope and I forget the boy's name, but Hope is best friends with him. He's dating Parker. Hope has a crush on him. Um, and Hope thinks that Parker is like this perfect popular girl and she has this perfect life and everything. Um, but it follows both perspectives of the two girls. And um, we actually learn that Parker has a pretty bad life. She lives in a trailer with her sister who is, uh, I'm pretty sure she drinks a lot of alcohol and does drugs. Like she smokes and stuff. Um, and I don't remember if Hope ends up finding out and being able to help. I do know that they have to, like, end up crossing paths because Hope has to help for, like, study or something. Um, but it was a really good book. I definitely recommend it. Um, I do not remember much from that book. I read it, like, a year ago. Um... Do you have a book of short stories? Um, yes. Stars Above, which I showed you earlier. Again, it has, like, all the, like, short, um, stories from the different Luna Chronicles series. Um, do you have a book that is between 500 and 510 pages? Um, I don't think so. I, I doubt that's wildly specific. Um, I'm not sure.
I doubt it. No, that one's probably not empty. Um, I know it's not it. The only one this it could be would be the only other one it could be would be New Moon, which just not. Yeah, I do not have a book between five hundred and five hundred five pages. Um, do you have a book that was turned into a movie? I have a bunch. Um I have called The Wild by Jack London. This is actually also includes White Fang. It was also written by Jack London. Um I have not read this. My dad got for me for Christmas a couple years ago because it's like one of his favorite books. Um, I could not get into it, but I know they've made like six movies for it. Um, I also have Wonder. Um, I'm sure most of you know about Wonder. It follows this 10 year old, I think he's 10. Um, and he like has a face deformation and he has to go through middle school basically. Um, we also have Five Feet Apart. This was also made into a movie, actually recently. This actually has a cover from the movie. This one is very popular. I'm sure you've seen it. I'm sure you know, so I'm not going to explain it to you. Um, also, like, it, Carrie, um, Twilight series. Yeah, I have a bunch. Um, one that is going to be made into a movie is the selection. Officially, it has been made official. It is coming to Netflix. Yeah, the first book, um, yeah, my favorite book series in the entire world, um, finally, they tried to make it once and didn't work out, they're gonna make it into TV shows, I am very excited about that, I'm not gonna explain that one to you either, um, do you have a graphic novel? I don't have a specific graphic novel but I do have two mangas okay so my two mangas are the are the it's the first volume of Black Butler and the first two volumes of Maid Sama um, I watched both of the animes um, they were both amazing I loved them um, so I decided to start reading manga um, I haven't read Black Belt yet. I plan on doing it very, very soon. It's definitely on my TBR. Um, I have read the first two volumes of Maid's on my, it was really good. Um, but, yeah. Okay, and we are at the very last question, finally. Um, do you have a book written by two or more authors? I do. I actually have one written by three if you will um this is also five feet apart um i'm gonna butcher these names i'm gonna tell you that right now let me just find uh rachel lippincott with mickey daughtery and tobias iaconis i'm not sure those are yeah i totally butcher those but i hope you enjoy this video please be sure to subscribe. I am brand new, so please subscribe. Please like. Please hit the notification bell. <laughs> um, comment any video ideas you'd like for me to have. Bye.